Getting ready to paint these blinds. Maybe hard to tell in this picture, but they're dull and yellow over the last 20 years, mostly from candle wax and cooking and that sort of thing. You can see the difference. Those I have not painted. These I have painted. See the bright white? Big difference. Bright white, yellow. Bright white, yellow. Very easy to do. We're going to do it with spray paint. I'll show you how. There are lots of different types of blinds out there. You can see these have four holes with a string running through the middle. So what I'm going to do is at the bottom, I'm going to cut this middle string right there and then slide that string out and then I'll let me slide all the slats out one by one. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut those. Here's the very bottom piece. There's string one, string two in these little knots and these little holes. So what we're going to do is pull this out, just like that. That's the, that is the middle string right there. You can see that coming out. I'm going to cut that, cut this little plastic piece off. So, not to mislead anybody, I didn't actually cut the plastic piece. I cut the, not to mislead anybody, I didn't actually cut the plastic piece. I cut the string. And so I have four of these little plastic pieces that'll come out. And I cut it right at the very bottom so I wouldn't lose very much string. You can see it sticks out of the hole right here. And this one. All I did was cut it at the very end of that. And I did it four times to take all of those middle strings and then unthread them all the way out. One thing I wanted to point out on these, uh, taking these slats out, you'll see that they rest on these sets of strings here. Just so they lay them flat and they go all the way across. Two, three, four. Well, the very top one is actually between the strings. There's two on the bottom and one on the top up here. So the first top one is a little bit harder to get out than all the others just slide out once you pull the strings out. This top one is uh, can be a little bit difficult. And you, so you just want to be careful not to break it uh, when, you, when you try to get that first one out. So I just wanted to mention that. Okay, now you can see I've got all the slats out. All that's left are the four strings, or the four things. They just slide out real easy once you get that string out. There you go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is get a damp rag and clean all these slats off, but be very careful, they will break, which I learned the hard way when I'm doing the other ones. So just wipe them off with a rag and then we will get ready to paint. Okay, so I wiped them all off and I put them in my garage on this four by eight piece of uh, plywood. Look at how ugly and brown those are. Look at that. This is 20 years of just facing the sun. But I'm telling you, once you spray paint them, they're gonna look brand new and they look great. The paint that I'm gonna use is Rust-Oleum. Painter's Touch, two times Ultra Cover Paint and Primer, and it is a flat. And then you'll want this handy little spray nozzle that's very helpful that you can get at um, any hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, or anything like that. Um, so we'll get started here in just a minute. One thing you want to do when you're painting spray paint is you want to start at one end, go across, and then let your finger off when you get to the end. And then Start again out here, go across, let your finger off. Because if you keep it constantly spraying, back and forth, constantly spraying, you're going to get runs. So you want to start, spray, let it off. Okay, I'm going to try that again. Start, spray, let it off. Then start, spray, let it off. Okay, I got the first coat on. You can tell they're looking better already. Still not completely done. I missed a couple spots, but I'll get those in the next two coats. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you, I am only painting one side of these slats because the side that faces the sun when we pull the cords, that is the 
ugly brown side. The other side that faces inside is still uh, real white, looks good. So I'm just painting one side. You may have to paint both sides, but I'm just doing one with three coats. Uh, it's only 44 degrees out right now. So this paint is going to take a little bit longer to dry than usual. So I'll come back in 30 or 40 minutes and put the second coat on. Okay, we've got all the slats painted. The first one you want to put in is the bottom one. Down here, all you do is lay it across the strings. Just like I've done there. And that makes all the slats lay evenly so you can slide them in very easy. Okay, that took me about 10 minutes to put those in, and I'm on the very last one at the top, and you'll see that on my top, they all lay across these strings right here. There's one, two, there's two, and there's three, and then there's four. And on my top row, you want to actually put them between the strings, so two on top, two on bottom, the way mine's set up. That keeps the top one from getting snagged up on this button on the string right here when you move them up and down. So if you don't put them between the strings, what I've learned on the top row is that it gets stuck and doesn't want to switch and move with the rest of them. So I'm going to put the last one in real quick. It's a little bit of a struggle. Just be careful not to break it and then uh, we'll move to the next step. Okay, now I've got all the slats back in including the top one up there that's difficult. Look at the difference. These are the new white ones I just painted. This is the side that faces the sun. I just have them uh, pointed in right now. Look at the old ones. The yellow from the sun. So, makes a huge difference in the brightness and the look of your room. So next what we're going to do is run these four strings that we cut in our first step. Mine has four of them. Here's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. So depending on the kind of blinds you have, you might only have two of them. Um, I have four holes in mine. Some people's only have two. We're going to run this string all the way down, th back through all these holes, all the way down to the bottom. And so a helpful tip, if you look at the end of the string where you cut it, let me show you this here. It is a little bit frayed, which makes it kind of difficult to string through all these holes. So what I do is I put a little bit of just regular old um, scotch tape over the end of it to make it into a more of a point and then it makes it much easier and much faster to thread it through all the holes. So we're going to thread them through all the holes real quick and then we're almost done. I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I put a little bit of scotch tape just over the end of that string make it into a little point like that. I don't know if you can see that very well. But that will, we're going to string that through and make it, each, make it much easier. I've done that on all four cords here. One quick tip before we start threading these down the holes. Um, you want to stay on the outside of the little rings that hold it. So the string you want to keep on this side and not on the inside. Because you keep it on the outside, it keeps them from sliding that's just the way I do it. I put them on the outside on each one. Outside here, I put the string on the outside here, I put the string on the outside on this one, and then the string on the outside on that one, and it keeps these slats from sliding back and forth a little bit. So just a little quick tip. Now we're going to string these through. Okay, now I've got all the strings strung through all the way to the bottom. One little thing you don't want to do, once you get all the strings strung through, you don't want to pull the cord that raises the blinds, otherwise you'll take all your, pull all your strings back out. They may be uneven. This thing up here may look all messed up when you get your strings pulled down, but by the end, when you get everything attached at the bottom, it'll, it'll look just fine. So we're going to go back and I'm going to show you how we're going to attach the bottom real quick. And then all we got to do is put the valance back on and we're done. If you will remember in the very first step, we cut off the very bottom of the string and pulled these four plastic tabs off. Now what we have to do is run the string back through the very bottom piece 
and run it through this tab and tie the little knot back so that it'll insert back in the position. So we'll show you that real quick. Okay, now you can see I've strung the piece of string back through the very bottom and back through the little plastic piece that goes in that hole. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tie a knot on the very end, as close as I can get to the end of this, so the knot will catch in the plastic piece when it uh, goes back in. So let's tie that little knot. Okay, here's my little knot right there, trying to leave as much, as little string as I could on the end of it. And the plastic piece is going to slide right up onto the knot. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, here it is. And go in there like that. There we go. And then you will pull the cord back through and push the tab down in the hole. I usually put a little bit of super glue on the other side of the hole to hold it, but I'm going to do all four before I do that. And then this one's done. It's all the way strung through. You've got your plastic tab back in place. Now I'm going to go back and do the same thing for one, two, three more holes, and then we'll be just about done with this. All right, I've got all four of the little plastic knots tied in the piece. There's two, there's three, there is four. So we're done putting this blind back together. So I'm going to set it down here and then see if I can scoot back and show you what it looks like. Get it all straightened up here a little bit. There we go. Okay, now it's all put back together except for the valance. And you'll see that my lines are crooked, um, but that's okay. You just take your hand and go in here and stick your finger in there and straighten up these lines. Uh, just go all the way down on each of them. Okay, go through and do that on all of them and then it'll be straight. You can see the, it's working here on the left. That way and that way. And then your line over here that you pull to raise should be just fine. Let's check that out. Yep, there we go. And the cord ended up being okay. Everything's good. Put the valance back on and you are done. That's all it did. And here's the view from the outside. White versus yellow. Big difference. It's really cold out here today. I don't know if you can see as much over here, but it's a big difference.